This is Super Yacht News with Yves Sisman. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So we have breaking news coming in from Fiji. Please ignore the 135 meter motor yacht crescent over my shoulder here, which is connected to Vladimir Putin. We'll go into that in another video. So the big news is from uh, motor yacht Amadea um, in Fiji. So as of Thursday evening, it looked like uh, everything was, was settled in Fiji. Uh, the vessel was actually handed over to US officials who had boarded the vessel uh, on Thursday evening and a number of the of the original crew from Amadea had left and gone into hotels. Uh, the vessel was meant to be leaving this weekend but then a last minute stay from the judges changed all that, put everything upside down. So we'll get into that. The first, of, first of all, I wanted to talk, uh, quickly try to explain because there's an awful lot of comments from people saying, how is it that the Americans can take this vessel? So what I wanted to try to do is talk a little bit about that because I actually have the warrants that was issued in Fiji, um, or, albeit with a lot of redactions in it, but there's enough information in there that I can, I can try to explain some stuff. The first thing that I found interesting was that it says, according to open source reporting, Amadea turned off its automated information system on February 24th, almost immediately after the start of the Russian invasion of Ukraine and did so intermittently thereafter. Now, I wonder where they got that information from. His vessel, Amadea, uh, disappeared, at least from an AIS point of view, on the 24th of February, 2022, the day of the invasion of Ukraine open source. Anyway, firstly, the warrants explain some of the reasons why people can be added to the sanctions list, and then it also explains why once on the sanctions list, you can have your vessel taken from you. So, so firstly, um, as an example, uh, if you have a business that has profited from working Crimea, such as, as an example, you own an oil company and you've drilled for oil there, and you've made a profit from the oil that you've sold from Crimea and you're Russian, then that's a misappropriation of wealth because you, don't, you are not entitled to make any money from any land in, which belongs to Ukraine. Uh, or another way is if you are a member of the Russian government who has made decisions about the future of that same area of land, Ukraine, uh, Crimea, because you're not authorized to make the decisions as it belongs to Ukraine. That will get you put on the sanctions list, right? So once you're on the sanctions list, uh, you are prevented from dealing with any company inside the US. Companies are prohibited from accepting money from you as persons on the sanctions list. So point four five of the warrants, it says, following April the 6th, 2018, uh, Kerimov caused entities and persons to make US dollar payments, which transited US financial institutions on behalf and for his benefit related to Amadea. So the reason for the seizure is effectively the same as Moti Tango in Spain. A person sanctioned by the US moved money through the US, possibly using bank accounts in the name of others, in order to pay for the upkeep of the vessel. If the company Mill Marine Investments Limited, which is officially, officially registered as the owner of Amadea, has been making payments, and that account has been connected to Kerimov, then that is the connection that is why they've been able to create this warrant for seizure of the vessel okay guys let's get into the series of events the timeline of events so on tuesday the ruling was made in the high court in fiji that the u.s have grounds to seize motiat amadea and on wednesday suva lawyer uh, faisal hanif for the defense filed an appeal against tuesday's ruling and made an application for an interim stay to the execution of the orders on tuesday's ruling so basically he on Wednesday, he filed, uh, asked them to pause any action being taken on the ruling on Tuesday. The lawyer for the prosecution for the o, uh, ODPP in Fiji said that the state would be objecting to the stay application. So they objected to his objection uh, effectively. So on Thursday, the appeal for a stay was denied by the judge. So henceforth, US officials boarded the vessel took actually over control of the vessel. The vessel was handed over to these officials and half of the crew left and the rest of them were meant to be leaving this weekend. So a lawyer from the Director of Public Prosecutions, the ODPP, told the High Court in Suva the Supia Amadea was expected to be moved this weekend. So that was official saying it was going to be moved at the weekend. 
So my sources in Fiji told me that the US government had placed seven people on board Amadea. And sources also told me that the, U the US offered contracts to the existing crew, but not one single crew member accepted those contracts. What I heard was that the contracts were good, but they were only for a few weeks to get the vessel back to the US. So what I was told by the contacts also is that, is that the, 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 the Americans didn't have enough crew to crew that vessel back to the US. And so they would have had to wait for more people. According to reports from the media in Fiji, the vessel was going through pre-departure checks today, which is Friday, which I find that's a little bit confusing because if they didn't have enough crew, then they couldn't move that vessel. But at this point, it seemed like it was all over and um, you know, the appeal had failed and the Americans actually had control of the vessel. However, the lawyer for, for Mill Marine Investments, Mr. Hanov, he went to the court after hours and asked for a stay on an earlier ruling that gave power to the US warrant to seize the vessel. So what does that mean? His appeal had failed, so he appealed an earlier ruling in the case and that was actually granted. So what that means is the vessel cannot be moved for 30 days in order to give him time, the defense lawyer time, to mount a full appeal. So that's where we are right now, guys. So, so it's, you know, one, one minute it's going one direction, the next minute it's going another. It's a bit like a novella. Uh, it, it, every, every, every day seems to be something else turned up. So yeah, it's quite a story and it looks like it's gonna stay there for at least another 30 days. Now, where does that leave the Americans on board the vessel? Can they stay on board that vessel now? Uh, do the crew come back on board and, and uh, do the Americans have to leave? Would the Fijian law enforcement get involved in that? That's a very interesting uh, situation p potentially there. Okay, so uh, one, one other thing, um, every time I make one of these videos, uh, I always go to Imperial Yachts and ask them if they want to make a statement. Most of the time they don't, they decline. Uh, sometimes they make, uh, they make legal threats, but um, this time they've actually offered uh, a statement to me. So this is from a representative of uh, Imperial Yachts and it says Imperial cannot comment on matters which are currently in front of the Fijian Court of Appeal. And, it, and then it goes on to say that Imperial does not provide services to any individual or entity which is subject to sanctions. So a couple of other things before I go. Um, you might be able to help me with this if you're a lawyer, but it says on the actual warrant at the bottom, it says you are commanded to execute this warrant and seize the property on or before the 27th of April, 2022, and not to exceed 14 days. So that date is the 11th of May. So six days from now. So that would explain why they seem to be in such a hurry. Now, but does that date mean that the warrant will expire it, because now they've got to wait 30 days. Does that mean they have to get a new warrant? We're unsure about that right now. Um, and one other thing on that warrant is, one of the interesting things is the warrant was dated the 13th of April, 2022, which is just one day after Amadea arrived in Fiji. So that's also quite interesting. And one last thing is, one of the, one of the interesting things is that not one single crew member for Amadea offered uh, was decided to take that offer of employment even though it was only for a couple of weeks but what i what i did get is what a source told me that the the imperial yacht who manage amadea have allegedly told the crew the exiting crew that they will be given employment on new vessels currently being built so that's probably an incentive for them not to take this other job right i would I will all go out on a limb and say also that if they did take that job with the Americans, they'd probably never get employed again by Imperial Yachts. There's one other news article, which I'm going to go into in another video because it's getting a bit long now, is, is that uh, quite a few um, articles about uh, Abramovich and his fleet of super yachts. Yes, he has a fleet of super yachts and they're all registered in Bermuda and um, a source has, has told um, some media outlets that um, the Bermuda uh, registry, shipping registry, is deregistering all of his vessels. I couldn't confirm that myself. Um, I haven't seen any photos recently of, of Solaris or Eclipse. Uh, if any of you are watching and you know where those vessels are, if you're close to those vessels, you can get some photos of the stern of the vessels. Please let me, please send them to me. Uh, I also was told, and I've not been able to corroborate this with anybody else, but 
that um, the crew of, of uh, Eclipse haven't been paid for three months and um, apparently Ab Abramovich is about to pay them in cryptocurrency within the next 48 hours. So, well, again, I've not been able to corroborate this with anybody else, but uh, it's quite interesting if that's the case. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, thanks very much for watching. If you have any information about any of the stories or other stories, or if you have any photos, please get in touch with me through the normal fashion, through the YouTube page. Go to YouTube uh, and go to, uh, go to my channel on YouTube. Go to the About page and you'll find a link there, or you can get me through Facebook Messenger. Uh, thanks very much for watching guys be sure to uh, like this video subscribe and uh, hit the little bell so you get all notifications in the future all right guys thanks very much bye bye